years and years and years. Uh, he was my favorite meteorologist. He visited me in my class when I was in third grade. His name is Tony Petrocka. He's a Providence, Rhode Island meteorologist. I've always liked him. Um, and I like Jim Cantore because he gets a cool assignment. He is a national weather guy. He gets to go out wherever there's bad weather. Jim Cantore is as well. So I've met him. Uh, locally, my favorite other meteorologist um, would probably be Kathy Orr. I like her up in Philly. I know her very well, and she's a wonderful person. Why did you want to become a weatherman? Um, because when I was in third grade, I was in Rhode Island, that's where I grew up, in Hurricane Gloria, which hit Summers Point, but it hit Rhode Island even harder, threw a tree on my house, a whole tree up, lifted up out of the ground, roots and all, and landed right on my house. And because the tree landed on my house, it kind of got me hooked on weather, and watching the Weather Channel all the time, following the weather, wanting to know the next time a tree was going to land on my house. Never did, but um, because Hurricane Gloria came in, and also just the power of weather, how we can have hurricanes. And then that winter we had like, two feet of snow. Just the, the variety of weather and the power of weather got me hooked on it. Uh, what do you like to do outside of the weather? I like anything outside. I'm a big, um, I like to uh, ride bikes. I like to uh, jog. I like to go to the beach. I like to hike. Um, I like to play sports like tennis and basketball and golf. Anything outside, I say to kind of keep me outside so I can watch the weather, what's going on. But I, and I love to read as well. And I would go on daily and I spend a lot of time with him. We jog together and go to the beach together and go hiking together and so on and so forth. Um, but uh, anything outdoors, and I live in Ocean City, so I love the beach as well. Uh, what is the best part of your job? The best part is every day the weather changes. So every day you get to forecast a different type of weather. And every day if you make a mistake, which we do, we don't always get it right, but if you do make a mistake, you get to make up for the mistake, learn from your mistakes, and hopefully get it right the next time. And also, the um, stuff that comes with the job, like visiting schools, and um, I get to judge the New Jersey State Barbecue Championships this year, and I get to judge uh, the Miss New Jersey pageants and uh, be in parades and that stuff. I love the weather, and I love people. So um, doing the weather on TV allows me to do the weather for all of South Jersey and also meet tons of people. So it's really because I love those two things, talking to people and doing the weather, being a TV meteorologist is a great fit for that. Uh. What are the worst parts of that? Uh, getting the weather wrong, because you know we get it wrong. And I mean, you've, pr you've probably seen people like, uh, maybe even your parents or your friends say, oh, that weather person really messed up today. And let's say you're having a big birthday party, and I say it's going to be sunny, and everyone comes over, and it pours, and it cancels the party. Yeah, you get upset at the meteorologist. We keep it. We don't always get it right, but uh, we try our best. But when we get it wrong, people sometimes get upset. Sometimes they say, hey, it's not your fault. You did your best. But sometimes they really get mad and send nasty emails to you. Um, really yelling at you and really upset that you did the weather wrong. So, um, so dealing with that, you have to have a thick skin as a meteorologist. And uh, most of what people say is very complimentary, very nice, and nice job. But every once in a while, people say some pretty mean things. You got to get used to that because you don't always get the weather right. Uh, how do you feel when uh, when what comes true? I feel very good when it comes true. Like um, like wow, all right, did my job true and hopefully you know I'll learn from this and get it even more right the next time but on the other hand I am very depressed when I get the forecast wrong let's say I'm forecasting 10 inches of snow promise you no school I open the window there's no snow on the ground when I wake up in the morning I get very upset and instantly I reach for my phone and I'm on the internet learning why was I wrong and how can I do better next time so I, I, very, I get very depressed to very happy when I'm wrong how do you feel being on TV? It's different because I was a very shy kid growing up. I um, never talked unless it was about the weather. And when I went back to my high school reunion and talked with all my high school friends, they were really surprised I was on TV uh, because I would never talk to anybody. I was a very shy person. So it's different for me because I was always a quiet kid. So being my job now has let me open up and be talkative. Now, before I wasn't, I wouldn't talk as a kid. Now I don't shut up. I talk all the time as an adult. So it's uh, definitely opened me up. It's taught me great people skills, and um, it's it, it's 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 different being on TV. I don't get nervous anymore. I got very nervous when I first started because it's live TV. And mistakes happen, and I've been doing it 13 years now. Mistakes still happen, but you get used to it. Like with anything, practice makes perfect. Well. I'm far from perfect, but I get better and better every single year. I'm never going to stop learning. Never going to stop learning about the weather. Hopefully, never going to stop getting better on TV. Because you never, your education never stops as a meteorologist. So we're always trying to get a little bit better than where you were last year. Uh, 
Uh, what weather events are most dangerous to our community? Here in South Jersey, it's probably a hurricane. Now, what did you think of Hurricane Irene? It wasn't that bad, right? I mean, it was a lot of hyped up, and we, we got very lucky. Hurricanes are the most dangerous thing for us. If we get a really bad hurricane, we would be in big, big trouble. We could have no power for a week, two weeks. We could be fly underwater. Uh, Summers Point could be underwater for a couple days. So we could have it really bad. We've been very lucky. You know, hurricane Irene wasn't that bad. Hurricane Gloria wasn't that bad. The last bad hurricane was 1944, 1903, uh, 1821, a long time ago. So we've been lucky with hurricanes. That's the worst type of weather. But the thing about South Jersey is we don't get a lot of any one type of weather. Like in Kansas, they get tons of tornadoes. In Florida, they get tons of hurricanes. In New England, they get tons of snow. We get a little of everything. So every single time of year, we're going to watch out for something. Coming up soon, it's blizzards. Uh, you know, in the spring, it's tornadoes. So we've got to be ready for everything. But if I had to answer tornado, uh, so I'm sorry, hurricanes are probably the most dangerous type of weather for South Jersey. Nor'easters are really bad, too. Because they can flood and rain and wind and bring the bays and, uh, up and cause tidal flooding. So nor'easters are bad. We're going to have a bad nor'easter on Saturday. We're going to see it firsthand. Uh, have you ever experienced a tornado? I have not personally been in a tornado, but I actually chased tornadoes. Uh, like, have you seen the movie Twister before, where meteorologists chase tornadoes? I did that for a summer out in Ohio, Illinois, Indiana. And about a half mile away, I was videotaping and I saw a tornado. And we caught it on videotape and called the people in the next town where the tornado was heading and warned them and gave my video to the news. It was on the nightly news, which is kind of cool. So, um, I have chased tornadoes before, but I've never experienced a tornado close up, and hopefully never will. Uh, how does weather affect our economy? Uh, it affects everything about our economy. This year especially, for all the tornadoes and hurricanes and floods and droughts, billions and billions and billions of dollars um, are spent trying to clean up from them. Here in South Jersey, it affects our economy. Because if you go down to Ocean City, all those businesses down there love nice weather, right? If you go down to the boardwalk, you want the weather to be sunny out. Well, Hurricane Irene came, they lost tons of money because the boardwalk was shut down. So the, the weather affects our economy greatly. Uh, does it affect how I do my job? I'm not going to say it's going to be sunny just so people go down to the shore, even though I know it's raining. So it, it doesn't affect how I do my job. The weather definitely affects businesses and the economy and how, um, and how we clean up from storms and how we prepare for storms. And it definitely has an impact on the economy. This year, a very bad impact. Uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to come in and see a uh, weather uh, show being taped. Yep, uh, it's at 5 o'clock news. You can see a live newscast if you like. Absolutely. I will give you my card and my email address, and you're more than welcome to come in. Um, someday, I'm on vacation next week. I'm actually going up to my uh, see my family.